out for joining us. I'm Steffi, and I value vegan adventures. Today we're here in South Austin checking out one of our favorite places, Doggy Style. They specialize in handcrafted hot dogs, fries, and tots inspired by their Midwest roots. They also have weekly specials, so let's go check out what they've got this week. lovely food trailer called Doggy Style and we do uh, vegan hot dogs that we make in house. Um, before that? Uh, uh, before that I did desserts at Casa de Luz and also worked at Counterculture for a few years. And we really wanted to do our own thing and we thought hot dogs were a little bit of a hole in the vegan community in Austin so we're like we can, we can fill that hole. We did hot dogs because there wasn't really, not only in Austin, but just nationwide, there's very few like vegan hot dog places, especially that make their own. Um, and so we just really wanted to do our own thing. And the latest one that we're doing right now is the poutine dog, and we really love poutine if you're not familiar with it. It's uh, Canadian like cheese curds and gravy and fries, which doesn't love that combination. So we thought it would be perfect on a hot dog. And it did. Works. I think ultimately we'd like to get to being in a brick and mortar, um, but we're also like, we like the freedom we have right now with the food truck. The overhead is significantly lower than like, having a brick and mortar, so it gives us a yeah. lot more flexibility. It's a lot easier to staff, just have like two people on a truck. Um, I don't know, I think whatever we do, we would always hold on to like kind of a flagship food trailer or restaurant no matter how, if we ever did get that big, like we would always want to focus on having like one piece here in Austin. That was kind of like the original. So. so we're back and we're so ready to eat. Check out this beautiful display. So I'm starting off with the poutine dog, and that's actually a Canadian dish. And what Dustin and Mira have done is actually top off their regular dog, which is a wheat gluten-based dog. Um, they've got some spices in there, and it's topped off with fries, a mushroom gravy, and cheese curds. And these cheese curds are actually house-made. Um, they're made with a firm tofu and a cashew cheese. They bake the tofu, and then when, once it's a little sticky, they actually throw it on the grill just to give it some color and texture. And the last dish we have here is the Chicago dog. This one is a tribute to the original Chicago dog. It's topped with mustard, grilled onions, pickles, sport peppers, and tomatoes. And then right here we have one of their specials that they have going on right now, uh, the green chili mac. This has bacon, jalapenos, and then their own sauce that they made from rice milk. So the cheese sauce is actually rice-based, which I'm really, really looking forward to trying. Okay. All right, awesome. Food cheers. Food cheers. Food cheers. All right, I'm gonna take a big bite and I don't care. Something I forgot to mention, there is salary salt on that. Totally needed. Delicious. This mushroom gravy, oh my gosh. And there's actually nutmeg. I've had this before, and I always heard, like, I couldn't place that spice, but it's nutmeg in the dog. Do you taste it? That's delicious. So savory, cheesy, fries in there. Oh my gosh, it's so it perfect. so good. no basis of comparison because I've never had poutine. But guys, this is so delicious. And the whole beauty of vegan food and working with veggies is the need to be creative. And that's why we like it so much, just because these people are so passionate. And they have to sit there. And imagine making everything handcrafted. You know, they, like they said, their golden milk is rice milk based. Their queso is oat-based. And it's like, you have to get creative too, you know? And that's kind of, kind of why they want to kind of just stick to the food truck or even just brick and mortar, you know, that creativity that they can, you know, show through their food. And you can just see it, you can taste it. Yeah. This is delicious. Grilled mac and cheese should be a thing always and forever. Mm-hmm. I'll say this. 
the times I've had grilled mac and cheese, it's always at vegan places. This is so good. I can seriously eat this. Y'all have got to try this. Hi guys. Well, we're gonna get this finished off, and we are gonna finish it off. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. We are gonna finish this off. Stay tuned for our next episodes. I'm Steffi. And I'm Valley. Thanks for joining us on Vegan Food Ventures.